Let's go. Ah! Come on. One. Oh you. Let's fight. Come on. Ah! Ah! Oh. But she didn't make a sound until the extra reps. Are you watching your legs? You seem like the veins, like. Ladies. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Pardon this army. Young C's, the new Marcus Garvey. Uh, blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Uh, darker the skin, the tighter the noose. Truth prevails. Once they may hate in the crime, go to jail. Nigga might say your life, post your bail. Church full of evil guys, holy hell. I'm a young voodoo child, no the spell. Yeah, no the spell. Uh, check the spell. Shoot a win, want shoot a win. People dying in the streets all do the First time. Ruby and Jordy are gonna see the place today as well. I haven't seen it yet. Last time, back in back in October last year, we we thought we did a deal in a place. I actually signed a heads of agreement on a place in Cremorn. And um so we were up in Queensland basically celebrating. And we came back on the Monday and the landlord had change all these conditions on the HOA. It was like really, really deflating to think, fuck yes, found somewhere. And it's like, oh fuck, you know? It's very yeah. really rare though, I think that you would actually, you, you have a HOA you agree on. It's like mm -hmm. it was verbally agreed, the terms. Look, I didn't make the terms up, you know, we agree with the agent, I sign. And he says, yep, I'll just get this signed off. And then, and, and, the, eight, and the landlord wanted to like, it wasn't a small change in the terms. He double, he tripled the bank guarantee and wanted to retain 150 square meters of the site to put a cafe in. I'm like, you know there's a cafe as part of our yeah. gym. It's like they just looked up one gym or and saw opportunity to like put a cafe into a busy traffic area or something and just, bizarre. I just, I, my answer was, whatever you have with my signature on it, tear it up. <laughs> oh, <fuck> it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's still advertised for lease. So, T, are you joining us today on this workout, or are we just like I'm not hovering? I'm the camera. <laughs> no, you, you are. No. My brain is like two finger right now. Stop the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stop thinking. I'm like this idea, that idea, and I need you to put the camera down so I can like consult with you. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Mike here, from undefeated. We're down at Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. <laughs> That's One take two. That's all I got. <laughs> How are you? Hi, bro. We are back, Underfitted Fam, at Into Performance with Corey behind the lens today. T and Johnny, as usual. And we are training legs. It's been a while since we've had Corey with us, so we're looking forward to the FD Media Magic. I expect 10,000 views on this YouTube at least, minimum. <laughs> but uh, now nah, we're doing legs today. And, um, we're all a little bit nervous, excited because we are also inspecting our new place for the um, undefeated gym in Cremorne. And um, we're pretty, pretty confident that we should be able to get this one across the line. So until we're in there, obviously we don't want to- um, Don't jinx it. Jinx it, but we've, um, we're very, very close. So super pumped to, to show you guys after the session, um, the new site, new location, um, I've also been to build on site as well to go through some of, the, some of our design stuff. Um, and uh, hopefully, like I said, we found the new undefeated location. So stay tuned, let's get it done. What, it's like next week, a year ago next week that we went to America. 
so yeah, okay. you can basically call it a year. Yeah, you see my little um, YouTube the podcast editing I do myself? No, I actually didn't get a chance. I saw that you made them, but I haven't had a chance. How did it turn out? How's it I feel used, being an editor of your own content? I used um, Filmora, <laughs> I wanted to share. Yes, yep. But it's all very similar to, um, like, they're all the same. Yep. Same same command, if that makes sense. Yep, yep. So I was trying to um, use one of these templates and add each template, but I just added all the files into the one yep. whatever, and then just changed the size of the screen for each one. So, um, I, I went to bed. I ended up leaving it. We were like <laughs> fucking on the laptop for ages. I was like, see ya. I was, the next as, a, as a like someone who's trying to obviously do as much content as possible, put out as much information, education, entertainment as possible. We have to sort of tr- we have to wear as many hats as possible sometimes. I guess you want to delegate the the hard stuff. Professionals, I just clean in. But the little stuff in between, like the more we can sort of take on ourselves and and do that little bit here and there, it's it makes it makes it heaps easier to, like I said, make changes on the fly or um, all that stuff. So I was a little proud. Yeah. What is that? Is that a goodie? Is it? It's a one of those shoes. Uh, I well, thought, that's, a bit, that's a bit close down. I'll come back a little bit. So you there tell you. me you're not amateur at this. <laughs> I'm not an amateur. Telling me you kind of know your shit and you have all the tools. I know my shit and I have all the tools. <laughs> we don't need to record me training. <laughs> oh, sorry. Johnny, uh... Huh? What did I for? Did I tell you that? But look at the wheels. Like, why wouldn't we? <laughs> What's that secret stuff? Johnny, uh, Johnny dropped the ball today on the deep peep. <laughs> he was on, um, it was his shout. Yeah. So, we reverted to some tiger balm for the knees. Oh, yes. So, we'll see how this one. Hold on, Johnny. Thank you. Well, it comes in a small jar, so it's got to be legit, right? Well, it's from Thailand, so, you know, <laughs> all good, all, anything good come from Thailand. Look a bit dry there on the knees, buddy. You need to moisturize a little bit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. So as always, family, starting with some reductive work here. One more, Johnny. Just to get blood. In the doctors pump them up, and I still firm believe with that putting blood inside the hip and the outside of the hip. The good to the doctors primes you for all the movements to come in your session. So for me, I can't globe my glute meat or max anymore because when I grow this part of my glute here too much, it creates and and. and Unesthetic look from the back when I squeeze. When I squeeze, this whole part of my glute is more dominant than my lower part of the glute. It creates a, um, a shape which I don't like. So I don't do the adductor, um, but I do a lot of the adductor work. And then the real, the only glute development I'm trying to do is just increase that glute ham tying area. So and how, how are you combating that? Like I said, I don't I try to. Um, I don't do any direct um, glute meat or max work. It's just mainly glute ham tying work. Um, obviously, you can't have your glute meat and max get involved in so hack squats and squats and leg press anyway. But just don't don't directly target it because any work is going to stimulate the muscle fiber and you know, whether it's and create more muscle fibers in the area. So no abductor work for me. Although I loved it. I think I developed that because I used I did it so much all the time. Same with my ductors. You know, I've, I've really only ever used it as a warm-up, but I've used it as a warm-up for 10 years. So it's like it, it's grown from that from that time frame. So next, if you want to go arm um, extensions, we're gonna be lying leg curl. Do you want to do the curl? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yep, yep. Now 
in Super City. Yeah. So this one here we're gonna do an exercise. This is actually our um, first day of a new program. Um, so new legs um, routine. We got superset extensions into line leg curls. A bit more of a volume focus on this leg day. So superset um, pump blood in and behind the leg, quads and hams, and we're going to hack squats after that. Approach 11 weeks out of my Chicago Pro Show. A lot of times people debate how your training should change or if it should change even during a prep phase versus a growth phase. The answer is yes, and not the way you think. A lot of people, lot of people associate change with the fact that you should lift less weight or um, lower the, the load so you feel weaker. Weaker is a neurological, like feel, that's how we feel up, up top. It doesn't mean that the fibers are actually weaker or the muscles are actually weaker. So we should try and maintain strength as much as possible. Take wins if you can. Often I find during the first stages of the prep, I get stronger because my performance is better in the gym because I'm lighter, more mobile, everything feels like it works better. Like, you know, my- Cardiovascular. Cardiovascular. So I actually get stronger in the first stage of the prep. And then I plateau, of course, as you get lean. There's no need to drop drop your load back. You might you might reduce some sets um, so you can maintain strength because essentially by maintaining the load, you're telling the muscle that, hey, you need to stick around because I'm going to continue to lift heavy shit and you need to protect me because the whole the whole flight or fight response to, to this training is the fact that if I'm not strong enough, this weight or resistance could kill me. And that's the body's that's the body's response is to grow. Okay, 1520, the nine leg fifteen twenty. Okay, it's gonna be about like slow walk over, yeah. slower walk back. Yeah. Just four sets. Yeah. 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 Just do one or two warms just to find the uh, right weight. Yep. I think like off of it. Three. Two warm sets just to get the butt in there, get the knees ready, and then we'll hit some working sets. Three working two sets. Just there, that all the way through, get my hips down, not just possible. At the top, I try and lift my knees a little bit off the pad. The whole process of trying to lift my knees by having that intention keeps my hips locked down into the pad.
know, you know, yeah? <laughs> if you know, you know. Come on. Oh. 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 Two. One. Oh. Oh. Right there, right there. Might have begun. <laughs> oh, there's something there. <laughs> Don't get my good angle. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh. 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 Alright guys, moving on to pack squat. And down at Easy Performance we have a lot of Atlantis pieces, prime. And for, for, for undefeated the gym, we ordered 13 Atlantis pieces. And um, I did order hack squat because I have a Cybex hack squat. And um, although we may add later on, we start with one. But, um, these guys actually contacted me and said that the, the Atlantis was ready to leave early for America, which was great. Um, and there was a spare hack squat the factory had. Someone in America pulled out of an order. It was 12 months late, do you want it? And I said, yes, chuck it in. And just sent me the invoice. I didn't realize it's an $18,000 piece of equipment. <laughs> so I got the new invoice, $18,000 more. But I paid it. Who paid it? Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> well, I like this one because at the moment, obviously Cybex I'm a big fan of, but fine at the moment, because my knee issues, the Cybex, it just really hammers my knees to the bottom. Even with bands? Even with a band on. So, I find that for some reason, what takes a little bit of pressure off my knees is when I'm able to not load the spine as much. So this hack squat here has the ability to become a regular hack squat, which loads one of the shoulders, or, or we can raise the back support up, so it becomes like a linear hack squat. And therefore the weight is more in my hips, which I find, have found that I was using a light, but it didn't give as much knee pain. So now I put in second movement in this series, in this workout, the new workout. I'm gonna keep my feet low and wide. I'm gonna push my knees out over my toes. I wanna to see as I load this one up, how much I can load it. So again, no load yet, but no knee pain pretty much at all. So, fingers crossed, we can load it, get some progress, and keep knee pain in the minimum. Let's go, Johnny. You got this, I believe in you. Jono, you could have like dropped me a couple. A couple levels. Okay? Can't do it if you're like you looking can. at me. <laughs> you can. You can. Spot me. <laughs> 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 One more. Yep. That was fucking bullshit. That was so much more. 
If I spotted him with my head in my phone. I'm just frozen my knee. <laughs> Trying to make sure. But could you see like, like, ladies? <laughs> we have undefeated trackies here. Oh. Picking out a few Corey's time. Not too short, huh? No. We, we'll get the sample ones made up in your size. What size is that? Uh, 5XL. That's a spirit. <laughs> long. Long. <laughs> Five he's, extra long. He's not a five <laughs> XL in the waist though, you see? So it's like... There are five extra long in length. Come on. Up. <coughs> yeah, no, it's... Oh, I'll strip the shave. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Can't rip that one. I'll have to wait till Corey does the YouTube to record it. <laughs> so I can count it. So we'll set one up each side. So we're sort of in the like, weight in the sand, just balancing. So what weight? Where will the weight be on this one? Oh, like this one. Yeah. yeah. I'll do side first. Yeah. You outside on me to there. Yeah. I want 15 to 20, so you're two seconds down, two seconds up. The constant tension. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Horizontal leg press, super slow, with the dumbbell walking lunges. Do the agony. Yeah. Dude, let's record this one for the group for me. I want to tell them how to do split squats.
All right, so guys, this is my version of the dumbbell split squat. I have a bench or something on the opposite side. Just a brace, not to lean on. Just a brace, and often I use just my pinky to brace to make sure. I have my heel raised, all my pressure on that front foot, the dumbbell on my working side, that stays by my side. My left foot goes back, again, just to brace, balance. I come down over the top of my foot, and back up. I'm not coming from back here, forward, but this is my back foot exercise. All my weight is over the front foot, and down slow, up slow, one, two. Hey. guys so just fishing up here with some calves got a recap of the session we did the uh did the ductor warm-up as usual the super set of extensions into line leg curl onto the hack squat uh with the um back raised in the atlantis for two sets there then we went to um, a split squat with heel raised, two sets there. Then we did a super set of the horizontal hip press, super slow rest pause, or Maya set into walking lunges. Two sets there. So it doesn't sound like a lot when you say it like that, but it seemed like a lot of work. That was this our first time going through the program. So you guys have heard me say before, whenever we run a new program, Obviously, it's never set in stone the first two weeks. We go through it, we feel it. How is the pump, how is the connection, how is the pump to fatigue ratio, which is something that a lot of people talk about. And that's through the session, how quickly can I A, get a pump, feel the connection from my, feel my muscles swell. And then two, a certain fatigue accrues through those movements and loads and through the session. And so then what you find is with a lot of people, because they think more is more, I'm guilty in the past. I keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. The pump fades. No more blood left, no more nutrients left. They keep pushing the fatigue and they end up with a negative net benefit at the end where you probably catabolize a fucking shit ton of muscle and gone past the point of return. So, not what you should do. What I found works for me is 
I write a session out, and I know from experience the amount of sets per week, because obviously we're talking about fatigue through the session and fatigue through the week. I know the amount of sets per week, which feels good for me, which I can progress on, maintain a certain amount of size on in prep. I'll just put those up into my days, whether it's five days, six days, whatever. Um, if I want to prioritize a body part, I'll shuffle more of that volume into that body part and have this for the other body parts. That's during a growth phase. I'm trying to bring up an area. If it's on a maintenance phase, it'd be pretty even throughout the whole program in terms of volume distribution for each muscle group. And then each session will break down. How was the pump to fatigue ratio? And through those two weeks, if we feel that A, we, we can't develop a pump or connection quickly into the, into the session, and then B, we develop a pump, but we fatigue too fast, then we change it. And then we'll find over those two weeks, a good mix of pump to fatigue ratio, which means we get a pump, and then we still got a pump and we feel fatigue, and the session ends pretty much at that point, past the point of no return. So that's what I found works for me. You guys can trial, trial and error your way to find the perfect um, approach for you. Um, but that's what worked for me, so try it. And that's why I think that it's important to, at some point in your career at least, to track and log your workouts. Um, if you're a genetically gifted IFBB pro, don't listen to me. You're not even watching my channel, so <laughs> probably doesn't matter. But if you're trying to work your way up, if you're trying to develop a physique that's going to be competitive on a national stage, maybe even get a pro card and whatever else, and then maybe take my advice, try it. Track your workouts, track your, you know, re review your data regularly, periodically, and, um, and then fine tune the approach that suits you. Um, and you can only do it when you have the data. Start seeing some cute shapes happen. <laughs> it's like my car's got bigger. No, my ankles got smaller. <laughs> <laughs> well, fam, so food for fitness. Big shout out. First time, as I've told you guys, that I've used a, a prep company um, at all, let alone during prep. I've always been too concerned with not having full trust in um, what the company's gonna deliver me. That's because I've tried and then I've weighed the meals that's supposed to be 200 grams and it's 220 or whatever type thing. So didn't have that trust. But Food and Fitness, um, they came on board and honestly they, um, everything so far that I've tested has been not only delicious, but to the gram exactly. So when you want 370 grams of pasta, it's 370 grams of pasta. When you want 250 grams of 5% fat beef mints and 100 grams of carrots, it's exactly what you're getting. So um, at the moment, we're still sort of, um, this meal here is the penne pasta, which is gluten-free, 5% fat beef mints. And then um, I get 100 grams of carrots as well. Make sure you get my veg in. Dean will be happy with me. And, um, but it's been a real lifesaver. At the moment, we're sort of, we get, we're getting up most days and getting ready to go. And we feel like we're forgetting something because normally I prep daily with my food and so normally get up an hour early and prep with food for the day and whatever else. And at the moment, we just take it out of the fridge, put it in the bag and we're good to go. So it's been strange, but again, it's been an absolute blessing as well. So. Um, this one here, like I said, 370 grams of um, gluten-free penne pasta, 250 grams of cooked 5% fat beef mints, 100 grams of carrots, and I add 50 grams of dried apricots, some salt, and I add some sauce, which is a low sugar, low sodium on top. And that is my post-workout at the moment. So shout out to Food for Fitness. Um, T gets her meals as well for them. We get some of the bulk stuff for the kids. They love the chicken, the kofta. Um, this is Corey's meal today as well. Basmati, Portuguese chicken, zucchini and carrot. And like I said, absolute lifesaver. Use code UNDFTD to get a small saving on your next order. 
um, and save time in the process. Hi guys, so we're down here in Cremorn with the whole fam. A uh, bit of a surprise for some of these guys, but we are here to inspect a new site for the undefeated gym. So let's go upstairs, level one. Obviously, Ruby, Kate, P, Danny, and some other redhead, um, Jordy. But we're going to go upstairs, level one, and we're going to inspect the new site. Let's go. You want me to fit in there? <laughs> Augustin Stiley, you get me? Yeah, new whip outside is different. Ask me where to cop it, mind your business. New whip outside, I'm vicious. Ask me where to cop it, I'll admit it. Can't you tell that I'm riding with it? Five or six, I can't find those digits. Line them up and say, mind your business. Don't you know that my mind is different? Can't you tell that I'm riding with it? Five or six, I can't find those digits. Line them up and say, mind your business. Don't you know that I'm riding with it? I'm riding with it. You can't see the size, ain't norm. I ain't reached my final form. I gotta teach inside a storm. I gotta reach inside it. No, I don't need beside him. By and large, I don't preach no violence. Right feet right beside him. I am calm. I am different. I enlisted. Fired up, but not find the mischief. I am one to find time and listen. Lighten up the entire district. I am one to take time and find it. If they hate, they can't ride beside us. All right, fam. So all done for today. Um, legs, eating and a uh, pretty successful visit to a potential new site. We, um, there's a lot of good feelings about this one. I know we've looked at a few sites already, obviously, but that's part of the journey. You know, there's, um, for us as a, um, I suppose, business owner, new gym, we're trying to find the, the, the right site that provides good value for members. Obviously the right space so we can deliver the services that we want to deliver um, in a good location. So there's a lot to weigh up. Uh, I'm very specific with the, the, the dream, drive, the, the, the path that we want to take. Um, so it's, it's been a while. You know, we, we started this journey of looking for a gym nine month, or 10 months ago now. And I thought we would have found somewhere sooner. I thought we had to found somewhere sooner multiple times. Um, but the most important thing, for anyone out there looking to start any business or to get a new location or to do something different, the, the biggest thing that I've learned from my experience with business and with people and with all of that is you don't give up. You know, keep moving forward, keep pushing forward, stay true to yourself, stay true to your values, stay true to stay true to your core mission. The people who are loyal to you, pull them closer. Um, that's not saying you don't trust anyone, but the minute that people show the true colours. Just move on, don't be bitter, because, you know, when it, time makes everything better. Time heals everything. You know, in six months from now, you'll either be shitty that you stopped and gave up, or you'll be proud of yourself that you persevered and pushed through. So never give up is the other uh, message for me, as it always has been. So uh, shout out to Into Performance for letting us film there today, thanking Hisham and the whole crew. They always look after us, so we're extremely grateful. Um, shout out to Corey Behind the Lens for Capture the Magic. Uh, make sure you check out all the Undefeated merch that's gonna, it's coming up online and available. We've got all the Season A stuff up there now, and we've got more merch coming. So make sure you um, sign up for regular newsletters and updates because we'll keep you updated through those channels. Um, shout out to the whole crew, Johnny, Ruby, Jordy, everyone for coming along and, um, and helping me with looking at the side and making sure that I don't do something spontaneous and drastic. Um, cool head, cool decisions, um, but much love to everyone involved. Um, you know, my, my support group, my circle's small, but my circle knows um, how much they all mean to me. So as always guys, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, you know, let me know about your business journeys, what you guys are going on. Let me know what you want to see more of with the YouTube. Um, obviously, I'm 11 weeks out now from Chicago Pro, so we will keep you up to date and keep bringing you more 
to the My Comp Prep. I've um, got India guest posing next month as well, which is really, really cool. Shout out to Lucky Singh for organising all of that. A um, lot going on, but this is life. We're busy, we're breathing, and we love it. We're blessed. Until next time, stay undefeated. Remember, we never lose, we win, or we learn.